is a leghorn and then the two smallest black ones are black sex link um, the bigger yellow one is an amber link that tiny guy right there in the middle is the Americana and um, back there laying down you can't really tell the colors I guess with the heat lamp um, because the heat lamp is on but that is a um, Rhode Island Red back there laying down. It's the biggest one. And let's see the one there. There's the other black one, second to the back, kind of with the yellow bum, is the Ostravorp. That's it, right? That's all? Yeah. <laughs> so we just got them. We, we ended up getting all of them at Tractor Supply uh, for 99 cents each. They actually, the sex link were $2.49 and a couple of them, they were different prices. Some of them were on sale for $0.99 cents today. Um, but since we got a whole box of a mix, they just gave it to us for $0.99 cents each. So that was a great deal. And then uh, we got the water and the little food thing for one no $2.99 at... Uh, tractor supply actually no at uh, family farm and home and those just use um, glass uh, canning jars with the regular mouth and we got an organic starter feed and in the water I guess you can't really tell but uh, we put the electrolytes and the probiotic in the water since they had a stressful day coming home in the car the cold car and we they're in uh, just a large galvanized container. We were going to do a plastic tote, but we didn't want to risk it with the heater, the heat lamp. So this um, galvanized container was in the by the horse area at Tractor Supply. And it was, I want to say, like $25, $26 or something like that. Maybe a little more. It was under $30, I think, for sure. And then um, it was like $8.99 for the, a set of two bulbs for the heat lamp and $8.99 or so for the actual lamp itself. And the bedding was right around 4 or $5 for a big pack of the um, pine bedding. And I think that's about it that we had to buy today. But we're super excited to have chicks again. We had chicks at our last house, um, but obviously we couldn't keep them. And so we're excited to have a flock of our own birds again. We, uh, I will be putting up a video. We've been um, building a chicken coop for them, which is uh, an 8 foot by 10 foot huge coop. And uh, so it has a... It has a really nice area for the birds and for the humans. So um, you might see that video coming up probably after this. We still have to actually finish the inside of the coop and finish um, the, putting the shingles on there. So um, I will be sharing a video about our coop and some more about these girls as they go out into their coop eventually. But look at that little leghorn laying down there out. They are tired. It's so warm right there. So is that Rhode Island Red in the back is so out like a light. They're so cute.
forgot to say we have a one barred rock too. I changed up the heat lamp. I thought it was too close. It was too hot, I think. So I raised it up higher and have it focused more to just one half. And I used my camera tripod to hold it up. And I have it clipped since the hook on the bottom of my tripod is plastic. I hooked it on a metal carabiner, just in case this were to get hot. It's not hot now, but you never know. So it's hooked here, and then I have it clipped on the side of the tripod too, and then I strung the cord um, up over the handle so that it's got three, three things holding it up, just so it's um, extra safe, as safe as you can be, and that seems to be helping. They've been moving freely all around, so I think it's a, a lot better than where it was. And I can extend this tripod a little bit higher too if it seems to be too hot. Right now, they seem it seems a pretty good temperature. They're all walking around and exploring. And and when that Rhode Island Red sleeps, it really sleeps. <laughs> she is so funny. Look at her. She hops up and walks around and gets food and drink and then just plops back down. Very strangely. I've never seen a chicken just flop around like that. The silly chihuahua likes the heat lamp. <laughs> and we have our, our baby chicks over here in our homeschool room, which is a total disaster right now. We got snow the other day, so I had to bring in my ferns. So I have two ferns up on the school desks, and there's pencils and markers all over the floor. <laughs> but we just have them in the corner there of our homeschool room. I figured, well, this is educational anyways, right? So I thought, great location for them and uh, nice windows there so they can get some sun, but um, our, our shades can open from the top so um, we can let lots of bright light in here but not have the chicks in direct sunlight. So I thought, perfect spot for them. Here's the feed that we got. I accidentally opened it upside down, but... Um, it's nature's best organic. It's a organic chick starter grower. This is a 40 pound bag and we paid $23 for it. Um, it was on sale. It was 26 and some change. Um, not on sale. The regular price was about 26 bucks, but it's organic, non-GMO, certified. And here's the, I accidentally ripped the label. 18% protein. So 
So we just thought we would get the best that we could there and then uh, we're gonna check out the um, grain mill or whatever in town. There's one that's not far from us so here in town. Well, it's kind of on the edge of town a bit. So anyways, we're gonna check out and see what they have there because I think you can usually get cheaper grain if you go to a granary rather than a store like Tractor Supply or Farm and Home. So, and I, our Chihuahua loves baby chicks and loves chickens. Um, our lab is two years old and I can't remember if we still had our chickens when we got him when he was a puppy. I'm pretty sure we did but they were adult hens and um, so anyways um, I don't think I think that we might have had hens when um, our dog was our Labrador was a puppy and um, I don't think he remembers having chickens so um, he was like very interested but I think he wanted to play with them and um, so we're just, we got the baby gate up to make sure our lab doesn't um, get any unattended um, playtime with the chickens because uh, he is a bird dog. He hunts waterfowl and stuff, so we don't want to have him confused. But I think he already knows he's not allowed to touch them. He got to have a sniff um, with my husband, so... Yeah, I don't think he'll be a problem at all, but we don't want him in here unsupervised. So I was worried that one of the kids might leave the door open and let the, the dog might get in. Um, so I put the baby gate here and he's never, he, he would never try to get over the baby gate. So anyways, um, I'm glad that you guys watched this video. And if you're new to my channel, I would really love it if you would subscribe. And uh, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing the baby chicks and uh, make sure you hit that bell notification if you would like to see more um, videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next video mm -hmm.